Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set a static IP address on your WAN interface. Uh, this is useful if you don't want your WAN interface IP to be changing each time when the lease expires. Uh, so the first thing that you need to do is to ensure that the IP address that you are planning on using is not currently in use or it should be exempt from your DHCP server. So the range that you configure on your DHCP server uh, should not, this IP should not fall in that range. So this will prevent your DHCP server from issuing IP addresses similar, uh, the same IP address to another device and that will cause a conflict. So just ensure that that is done before. So the first thing that you're going to do is to go to IP addresses and this is where your interface address is assigned so you can see the address that is assigned to your interface however it is from the DHCP client that all of this um, activity occurs so if you double click on on the DHCP client and if you go to um, status you will see you see the IP address, the gateway and all the details from the DHCP server that your router is connected to. So it could be a modem, it could be another router. So this is where you get this information. So it's currently using DHCP. So the first thing that we are going to do is to disable DHCP and next we're going to so you can actually remove this if you want but you can just disable it at first just to see what's happening and you realize that the address that was assigned to the interface has gone because the d let me just enable it back so the d stands for dynamic that means it it will change our the address is assigned as per need so if I disable it again, that address will go away. So let me see what IP address. So say 192.168.90.221. But say for instance, I want to give the router, the one interface, say 90.3. So disable, and then in address list, I'm going to add a, an address, 192.168.90 dot three slash twenty four and this is on the on Ethernet one this is a one interface Ethernet one it apply it okay so that's the first step the second step is we're going to go to IP routes so now we're going to create a route um, to the internet because without doing this you won't be able to browse. So I'll click add and for the gateway now we're going to enter the gateway that is the modem IP address or the other router IP address. Whatever device you're connecting through that's the IP address that you're going to use. So it's 192.168.90 dot one so that's the IP address of my gateway it apply and it says reachable through Ethernet one it okay then one more thing now is the DNS so go to IP DNS and uh, there's no you realize there's no if you notice there's no um, DNS servers that are assigned so, so in order to do that, you need to set a DNS, set your DNS server. So you can use your ISP DNS or you could just use Google DNS or uh, 8.8.8.8 and it apply. So I'm going to do a test now to see if the router is able to browse. So I'm just going to go to system packages 
and if I go to check for update it should give me a response good so now I'm able to browse I'm going to do another test I'm going to ping Google and I'm getting a response so I'm now able to browse without any issue so that is how that is how you configure a static IP on your one interface so that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so thanks for watching